Good morning. You join me on day, I think it's day four, uh, aboard the York, a 57 foot uh, canal boat uh, here in on the West Yorkshire canal system. We are parked up outside Wakefield. I am growing a beard of various shades and textures and tones. And um, we've been cruising casually for the last three or so days, three or four days. I think it's, this is day four. This is day four. We've just woken up. I've just woken up. It's six o'clock in the morning, maybe seven. And um, it's been quite tough so far because uh, this stretch of canal is the it's the Calder and Hebel navigation, which means it keeps drifting between the river Calder and the canal system. So we've been on lots of rivers and there's lots of this weed that grows over the surface of the water that we've been trying to avoid. And we've we've had it stuck underneath the boat once already. We've also had a bit of a mishap with a lock gate and damaged one of the windows over here. Um, but uh, it's, it, it isn't the prettiest canal. It's quite a uh, sort of run down north, really. Huddersfield area, uh, graffiti, um, kind of suburbia, sort of to the outskirts of towns. So, you know, a lot of the kids who come in and sort of drinking on the benches and stuff. So we're always within a walking distance of a town, which means it's a, quite a populated um, stretch of canal at all times. It's not countryside, that's what I'm saying. It's not very countryside. So it's been an interesting experience doing a, a, a canal system like this one. Uh, but I thought I'd make a, a, a video anyway of the experience from now on. Um, I wanted, I didn't start doing it right off the bat because I wanted to sit back and enjoy myself. But now that we're into the swing of things, uh, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So uh, enjoy. Let's go for the kitchen area here. And then we go to the pointy end, past the television. We've had some uh, rain last night, I think, which is the first rain we've kind of had. We've had it threatening. It's clear blue skies today, which is great, because I think we're going to turn around today and start heading back. Just because we've been on a river, it means that um, when we go back, we're going to be going against the current a little bit, and we're a bit un unconfident, I would say, about uh, how long it's going to take us to go back. Uh, and also, we, we don't want to be running for the bus on the way back. So we, even though we are sort of just into, uh, I think this is day four. Maybe it's day three. I, I'm, I'm a bit confused, actually. I don't know. But we're turning around and we're going to go back. And there's lots of locks in this canal. Uh, and one thing, because I'm so unfit and out of shape and in a bad way in terms of physically uh, neglecting myself, uh, which is hopefully going to change. Um, I've been finding doing the locks actually extremely strenuous. Um, uh, I've been wearing my Apple Watch and uh, my um, heart rate is going from 60 up to about 130. Um, and uh, if you've got blood pressure like I have, it isn't the best thing to be doing. So I'm kind of like taking it easy and taking it slow. If I feel, I do monitor it. If, I, if it does go above 120, I'm tending to um, just stop and let it go back down again before I continue. So I'm trying to be careful. But it just means things are a bit slow. So when we go back, um, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. But I think this is possibly going to be my last ever excursion onto an arrowboat. So our boat has been hired by my my friend and esteemed colleague uh, who's asleep on the boat at the moment is from Shire Cruises. Uh, it's the York. I think it's 57 foot. 
I don't really been paying much attention. It's long enough. It's about as long as they come. It's just about long enough to fit in the in the locks. That's for sure. And uh, I thought I'd show you some of the the things you get with a canal boat when you hire one. That interesting. Well, down down there, see that little pipe thing there. That's where the water goes in, and you can tell. Uh, when it needs water because you see how the line is low at that end and then high at this end that's how you know that the water tank is emptying with showers and loos and coffee and whatnot got some pins there uh, a hammer to hammer the pins and that thing there is for doing the the, uh, the paddles on the lock uh, you've got a rope a hatchway where the gas canisters are uh, tying the ropes is uh, something that I'm not very good at to be honest with you this is the TV aerial no that's the TV aerial this is I don't know what that is radio I guess I don't know um, there's been some knocks and scrapes that's not us this is us we kind of did this to the uh, I mean it's not necessarily our fault uh, here's a a wooden paddle that you use to open a specific type of uh, sorry it's a wooden um, I don't know what you call it but you use it to open up a, a specific type of paddle on some locks I've never seen that before there's a pole along there that is to stop you uh, or to push you off if you get stuck at the side of the bank uh, this little brass nobule here there one over there one over there they're just air vents so you don't get steamed up, the windows don't get all condensation. You've got this middle rope here, which you would grab and hold this way to hold the boat to the shore. And then here is a pole with a hook, which we've been using to get weeds off the propeller. You have a little plank there that you'd put to the bank, to the boat there, should you not feel very comfortable about the situation when you uh, then you land and there's a mop there which you might use this morning to get some of the water off the deck there's a hatch taking you down into the bedroom this is Scott's bedroom down here he's fast asleep and then over here you have the business end you've got that there though you can't really drown well you can but it's very shallow but uh, as I say we do go out on the river where it's not so shallow so that's it you have forward, reverse, you have a horn, um, and you have an emergency stop button. And underneath all these panels are various accesses to the uh, to the engine. And then down there there's a bedroom. And just on the wall here is the ignition key and everything. And that is pretty much what a canal boat is. Scott over there is turning the boat around he's pulling it around which is not how you're supposed to do it but I'm kind of trapped here because of these weeds in the corner I don't want to get stuck in them so he's he's swinging the boat around because we're turning today and then we're going to fill up with the water very exciting and then we're going to go down there ah! Is that the key? 
Scott delightfully takes the key full of joy. <laughs> Oh, we have a mint laugh on holiday. <laughs> it goes into there like that. These little water spots are kind of dotted up and down the canal and you have to like, use your map and plan your trip to, to find them and use them and uh, they're free but uh, you have a, a boat key a key on your boat it's got a cork in it so it won't sink and um, you unlock it and you've got access to the water so not anybody can use these you have to be, you have to be a boater like me join me next time when I will be taking the canal boat into a lock and explaining to you how it works even though you probably know how a lock works, I'm going to explain it anyway. See you then!